We travel all the way to the Upper West Region with Chow to see Hippopotamus and the unexpected happen. This is what actually happened. Let me take you to the beginning. <laughs> okay guys, so we are here at the Wachow station. Here's our bags. Let me turn the camera. Yeah, here's our bags. From Wachow to Wachow is 12 cities. Community. Welcome to Wetchow. So we are here in Wetchow. We paid a nice and 12 cities to this place. A quite no rough, bad road And I can't hear the buy no. The sun is not fire. The road is in a poor condition to this place. And yeah, 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 yeah. Now we are here in Wachau, you see in Nancy, some few distance to where the people put pay more say, junction or something like that. So we are walking from the station to the ferry site. So we are walking to the place. This is how the, the community looks like. Yeah. And which is the gateway to the hippo sanctuary. Um, the project which are coming to the sanctuary is a community based hippo tourism site established by the local people in 1998. 1998. 1998. And our main focus is to conserve plants and animals. Also look at the culture of the people and market it out as a tourist site. Um, what we do is whatever proceeds we get goes a long way to involve the communities as well the people. Um, we've um, gone far, let me say, and we've given um, many projects to the communities, including scholarship to children from junior high to senior high and beyond. So it's purely like a project to uh, help develop the area. So to visit, we have about four different attractions. One is um, Hippo Viewing, to see the hippos who travel to the Blackwater River. And the Blackwater is the boundary between Ghana and Burkina Faso. Um, let me say, this time of the year, the water level is very high. And hippos don't like the running water, so they find several places and stay for the whole day. So this time of the year, is, you know, the season is not too good for seeing hippos. I don't take so, I don't take madness. I don't take far. I don't take so far, millions. And I mean, oh. Yeah. The river going down to the <laughs> river is another thing to talk about. If you are using a motorbike, but you still have challenges on the way and all that. 
So our best time to see the process in the dry season. Dry season maybe starting normally we say starting October to somewhere June. But this this year the rains has been something else. You know, it's unpredictable. So maybe by November, December our season will start from that. And we don't only look at the hippos, we have bird species. We also send visitors to point out or identify some of the bird species we have. And then we tell a story around them. You know, there's um, in the rainy season, there are some bears here. When they stay, up to the dry season, they will fly to other countries or continents, and then birds from the other side will also come. So, if you are a birder, you will see that sometime in the dry season you will see certain birds around, and then when it is wet season you don't see them. So they move like that. Also, we look at the culture of the purple lichen as an area. Okay, so it's so, so sad. We travel all the way from Damango to um, Wa Sleepover, then travel to this place to Yende Yatalia. Oh! Yeah, telling us that you can't see the hippos because of. The rainy season is so raining. House, even house, we are here, so it's raining and we can't see the hippo. So, when coming here, you have to come here in the dry season that's from January to uh, April. Yeah, April, May. That one you can see the hippos. So, I have to show you some pictures and other stuff. This is a skin of a hippo. Skin. Skin, yeah. Can I touch it? Skin. Skin. A. Uh, for big animals, instead of skin, we say hide. Hippo yeah. skin. Hippo hide. It's very hard. This one looks fresh. This one is very old. Yeah, yeah, it's old. Mm -hmm. We had this one around 2003, and this one quite recent. This one I think last year we had this kind of So what, what do you what do you do with the skin? Um, we just put it here and so to rest this one the thing. No, maybe but aside this one, what do you do with hippo? Hippo is is edible. People oh. eat the meat. Oh, okay. So you can eat the meat. But because of the tourism program here, we don't allow people to eat the meat any longer. What we do is we conserve as well within the tourism. Okay. And in 2011, we had this one. And that um, period, like one died somewhere like seven, and by twenty first another one died. So we just say, oh, anytime a hippo, the first one we gave the hippo to the community people mm -hmm. to, eat, to eat. So the next one we realized the made an attempt again to kill it so we just say no more eating oh. of hippo so what we, do, was sweet. <laughs> yeah, what, what we do it now is if we see a dead hippo we try to bury it oh, okay. just to close the case because what the hippo is given like in terms of tourism and other development power and projects to the community it's more important than eating the meat, so we look at that. So this is the head of the male and um, female hippo, the smaller one, and this is the head of the male. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. For males, they carry the biggest head, mm -hmm. and they do not as a horn of the teeth. Teeth. Yeah, that's one. So hippos are herbivores, they eat only grass oh, okay. and maybe plant, plant material, leaves and plants. In the water or they come out to eat they outside? They come out in the evening around 6 to 7, they go out in they, the evening oh, okay. and eat the whole night. So some, can someone come here around that time to see them? Mm, it's quite dangerous in the following them in the night. You oh, know, okay. every wild animal when they are looking for food they are more like aggressive. Yeah. Um but if you are on their territory they feel scared and they can eventually they can come attack. Okay. okay. So female and male. The male have the biggest set to Defend the territories. Mm. But you said this is their teeth, but they have another teeth here. Okay, too. so um, the smaller ones are the ones they use to chew grasses, and the bigger ones here, the front ones, are what they use to defend it. Okay, okay. Fight for them. Okay. It's of a hippo. Why you shaped it? No, that's a sound. This is how it is. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Boss, yeah, until you give it a chance. Yeah, So this is the dry season. And this is the wet season. That is the rainy season. Guys, it's so sad. So, so sad. Oh, guys. Wow. The cost alone, and you can see this, it's so sad. Area, you either go to Cantu and then take a boat. So the tour guide will take us? Yeah. Okay. Or you go from Wachao to Pankwa to take a boat. Or you go to Tokale and go into Tadona where we have the lodge. So that one will be have you walk or you take? Normally we use either motorbikes or motorcam, the smaller one. Okay, so that one you book. So quite unfortunately we couldn't see the hippos. But here is what you are likely to see whenever you visit Wechow in the Upper West region. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I hope uh, I didn't disappoint you even if I did. So sorry. I'm going to give you the correct footage next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until we meet again in my next video, it's your girl Ophia Kimura here. Love you and bye-bye.